happy sunday everyone welcome welcome back to my channel i hope everyone weekend is going well so far in today's video we're gonna do a debt update my last debt update was in february so today we're gonna do march and april debt update and the past two months was great i received my um tax we fun and i also work at the convention as a side hustle so i made some money and i sent all those extra money toward debt so you're gonna see there will be an, uh, a decrease on my debt so which is always good yeah so uh if you're new here my name is jenny and in the channel why do budget with me cast off things saving challenges investing in more and i'm also in my uh, journey of uh, debt free journey so if you have interest on any of this topic please consider subscribing and joining my youtube family i will absolutely love to have you here yeah so let's get started so for those of you who are new here most of my debt will be my mortgage so we cannot start with that i closed in my house uh i bought it in uh, 2022 so my first payment was in uh, september 2022 my loan amount we started with uh, 279,000. my interest rate is 4.75 and i have a 30 years loan without any extra payment my monthly uh payment which is just for the interest and the principal it's like a 14.55 and so if i without making any extra payment i will end up paying uh to 44 942 000 in interest meaning my loan will cost me 523 dollars. yeah over so but i'm making extra payment like so far since i bought the house i already make um almost eight thousand dollars on extra payment and i already saved twenty two thousand dollars in interest by making those extra payment and i'm currently 20 months ahead on my mortgage which is good so i already made my payment for april so on april first i made my normal schedule payment which is like a 1455 and 40.40 cents I sent down 313 extra payment toward the principal only. So my total payment was 1768.40 out of those like 1768. Only 722.17 went to the principal and 1046.22 went to the interest. It's like it's crazy. It's like uh, amortization is like now like most of my payment are going toward the toward interest i cannot wait when i see more when most of my payment will go toward the principal instead of the interest so right now my uh current my ending balance is like uh, about 263k and i will pay over 21k on interest alone Yep, so that's for my mortgage. So now let's do my other debt because I do have some credit card debt and some medical debt. So in March and April. So my Bank of America, this is like for my everyday expenses card. I use it and it's zero. I mean, I do have a small balance on it, but I have the money in my uh, checking account. I just need to transfer it. Uh, Quicksilver, it's zero. So my electrical upgrade, Bank of America. I had to do some electrical work at the beginning of the year. It's currently at a zero percent interest until March 2025, and the current balance right now it's 1922.23, and I have the screenshot for it. 1922.23 so that's a decrease of 977 dollars yeah and the reason it's decreased like by that much money i use some of my tax refund and i also this one came with uh when i opened an account like a 200 something cash back cash reward where you can like redeem the point so i redeem the point that's the reason then my uh, electrical too because like my total electrical was like 5900 so i ended up putting it into um uh, half half like in january and two different cut so the rest is in the oops then the balance it's as you can see 2270.72 it's at the quicksilver now 
and I already make a payment. So my M, the minimum is just like 25 for this one and the minimum is like 30. So I don't know when they expect me to pay it if someone were just like paying the minimum. So that's a decrease of 310 and this one as well. I opened them the card the same day and they were both like a 0% for 15 cycle. So until March, there won't be any uh, interest. Then we have my Amazon. I have two baby showers, actually three, my cousin, my uh, sister, and my best friend, which I'm going to be the godmother. So I make, I bought some stuff from the registry on uh, Amazon. And right now it's like six, oops, it's six, six, five. 37 and I have Amazon the the cart the store cart and because my balance was over like 500 something I had the option to finance it because they have the six equal payment and you don't pay interest so I they have two options they have the six month and they have a 12 month so I did the six month equal payment so I have no interest until as long as pay it Every month I pay the minimum and my uh, next payment will do on May 18 and it will be 110.92. So that's an increase obviously because before my Amazon was zero. Then that second fund. So this is like, like I mentioned, like those like three debts, they don't have any interest. So there's like no reason for me to pay more than now. Uh, the minimum you know so I do have an uh, account I will put screenshot where I put if I have extra money and I decide not to put it toward the debt I put it toward that uh, saving account to gain a little bit of interest and then when those debt are due I can just make a big payment and right now we have 396 0.73 so we have like a minus in front because like this one will decrease my debt and not increase it if that makes sense and medical debt one um i i'm on a payment plan there's like no interest or anything i just need to make my payment and this one there's like a my monthly payment is like a 72.61 so and right now my balance for it is like 379 Point sixty nine. I just make like my two payment March and April, and it's like a decrease by one forty five point twenty two. And then my second one, the minimum payment is thirty five point thirty three. What I'm gonna do once I'm done finish paying this, I'm gonna increase this minimum payment maybe by like eighty so I can finish paying this one first. And right now it's like two twenty four. If you're still watching and you haven't liked, please like, comment, because that will really help the channel. So it's decreased by just like 70.66. Medical debt three is zero. I'm expected uh, maybe 1300 plus medical bill because I had some, uh, I had to do some other tests and I can see the claim in my uh, health insurance, but I haven't received an actual bill from the doctor office. So we're just gonna leave it at zero until I receive it. And MHP loan, so this is like a second loan that I have in my mortgage from the state of Massachusetts because when I bought my uh, house, I applied to a special program and because of my income, I qualify for that subsidy. And I don't have to repay that loan until I uh, sell, refinance, or if the house is no longer my primary residence. And if I do have to repay it, there won't be any interest. And right now, the how much I received so far is twenty four sixty eight point two. So it increased. So every time you're gonna see I do my uh, debt update, the loan will increase. Then we have my personal loan. I'm happy to say that I paid off. I use my tax refund. I paid off. So right now it is at zero. So my total, my like debt without including my mortgage, it's seven thousand nine hundred thirty-four dollars point twenty-seven, which is like not a lot of not bad right it's really since like they don't have any interest 
all of them is like this is like zero percent interest and then i'm doing the six month equal pay then my medical there's like no interest my second loan as well so there's like no interest so a lot of people will be telling me this is not seven thousand it's not like bad right because like some people have like way more debt than i do but but for me it's still a lot of money especially like when i'm gonna add my mortgage because i consider my mortgage as a it's my big debt and honestly it's what keep me up at night so that's why i'm like always like try like to put some extra payment toward it every month so i can uh, decrease it so like as you can see like since i bought the house almost every month i always put like some extra money even like in like uh, at the end of the year i put a lot because when i do my saving challenges see i always put some extra even if it's like some month it's just like 50 this one was like a thousand one thousand eight hundred i think it was my from my saving challenge money so i always like try to put something extra because that keep me up at night like the my like yeah it's a lot of money <laughs> compared to my income so right now it's uh what is it two okay so two six three five eight five point point seven 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 so my total debt is two thousand seven hundred five twenty point four cents so my debt decrease um, by $2,701. I'm extremely happy about that and I cannot wait for this number to be below like 270 or less. And I started, when did I start tracking my debt? So I started tracking my debt in December 2023 and when I started I was at 277. Then in October my debt went up by 596 then december it decreased by like 3700 then january it increased then since like this year it keep i mean beside january it keep like decreasing so i'm hoping that will be the train that every month it will keep decreasing until i have no debt i cannot wait to be debt free beside my mortgage hopefully like uh, this year i will pay everything except what um except like uh, my mortgage which is like the mhp loan which is a second like mortgage loan so it's like it's a second loan mortgage because it's like uh it's related to my house yeah i'm hoping at the end of this year this is the only thing my house will be the only thing that i will have left that i will be debt free except for my house that would be awesome i cannot wait for that to happen so yeah so like uh thank you so much for watching and let me know if you're paying off debt are you making any progress or it is are you tracking your debt and i uh, remember give yourself some grace you know it's there is like no point of like beating yourself about it that's what i'm trying to do trying to be like stressed about it as long that's why i keep tracking and i can see i'm making progress as long as i'm making progress that's all that matter and remember every little progress matter yeah just have a plan and try one day at a time until we are all debt free bye until next time don't forget to comment like subscribe take care